hello 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 welcome to my channel so if you're new here my name is chloe please do hit the subscribe button because it is a fun time around here um today's video is going to be my favorite video so i'm gonna do my january and february faves into like one because basically i don't find enough stuff each month to like do a favorites video like every month so what my plan is is to like sort of collate like two months worth of favorites and then do like a big one does that make sense so without further ado let's get on with the favorites so I'm gonna start with the makeup products today so the first thing I'm gonna start with is this lip combo so I got this in a glossy box and I've never actually heard of the brand it's give them Lala um, I've never heard of it before but like I said I got it in a glossy box which is such a good way to like getting products and trying new things um but basically it comes with a lip pencil and a lip stick and the lip pencil is just a really nice easy smooth pencil to put on like it goes on really really easily and this is the color so i think the color combination together is called the beach um so that's the lip pencil obviously it's a little bit like darker than the lipstick because then the lipstick is this really gorgeous it's kind of like um a peachy orange um but it's so nice and it's kind of matte but it's really moisturizing i have got it on right now but it has sort of like not rubbed off but you know what i mean i have got um vaseline on underneath it which makes it just a little bit more glowy and a bit more like smooth on the lips but if you wanted it like extra matte then obviously you would just have like nothing on your lips but i am obsessed with this um this color combo together i think like any sort of like peachy color really complements green eyes which i do have well i don't even know what color my eyes are like in some lights they look a bit blue um but i think they're like hazily green um but yeah a peachy sort of lip color just like really complements that personally that's what i think but i really really like this little combo and i'm actually obsessed with this packaging for this lipstick like it's just really cool and yeah i like this but like i said i haven't ever heard of the brand so like i'm not really sure i'm not sure about them that much but um definitely give this a little go because it's honestly really really nice and it doesn't make my lips feel like really dry I hate lipsticks that like dry my lips out um and I like the fact that it comes as like a duo because I always find it really hard to like match up a lip pencil to a lipstick I'm not the biggest lipstick wearer anyway like I'm not I'm more of just like a lip gloss or just Vaseline to be honest um so I'm trying to branch out and when I when this came in the glossy box I immediately fell in love with it and so i got this back in january and this is literally all i've pretty much been wearing on my lips so i will try and link everything down below um that i can find for you guys so that you can just have easy access to it all um but yeah that was my first favorite and then i have another favorite which i also did get in a glossy box um this is just this little glow milk highlighter um and honestly like it is so good i haven't actually got any highlighter on right now but this is so good um it's like a bronzy color as well so like it sort of blends in nicely it doesn't look too like white on your face or too gray like sometimes it can be a bit gray toned um but this honestly is like so pigmented it's a joke um and it's just so nice i don't know how well you can even see that but um it just when you put it on your cheeks it honestly just looks like the nicest glow ever um i didn't put it on today and i don't know why because it would have made more sense to put it on so that i could show you guys like what it looks like obviously but um it is really really nice and again i haven't actually heard of this company before so it's called the beauty crop um london it says press illuminating powder and this is in pear pressure it does say it's cruelty free and vegan which is like amazing was what i tend to look for when i am buying my products um but yeah this is really really nice i um i love highlighter like i love a highlighter i just feel like it does so much for your makeup for your face like it is really really good so definitely check this one out because i just love that it's like that a bronzy color like i said because i feel like it blends in better with your bronzer um but i just can't believe how pigmented it is honestly when you have it like on your cheeks like in the light it is just it gives the most stunning glow 
Um, so I definitely would recommend this little bad boy. Also, quickly on that little note, I like the fact that this is like quite small. Um, I'm guessing this is like a mini version because it did come in a glossy box, but I like small products because I find that you can travel with them easier. Um, they're a bit cheaper, but you can still like, they still last a long time. I find that when you have like really big pans of like product, it just takes ages to get through them. And obviously then they like, go out of their expiry date anyway because I have a bronzer and it's like this massive like this like a mega bronzer but I honestly like I don't wear makeup every single day and I don't use that particular bronzer every single day so like I have it still and it's like basically coming to the end of its expiry and it's just like such a waste so we always find that if you buy like mini products not only are they good for like just trying it out and if you don't like it it's not too bad because you've not spent a lot but it's also just less wasteful and it's just so much easier to travel with um i just thought i'd add that in i don't know it's pretty obvious but yeah um speaking of minis i have another little mini mascara so this one is just a favorite of mine i've i really love any benefit mascara but this one has just really blown me away um it's the they're real magnet um i don't really know what the magnet bit is about <laughs> i maybe should have like googled it i don't really know all i know is that it's just a really good mascara i do have it on today but i don't really know yeah i do have it on this is literally one layer of mascara like just one um and it just makes your eyelashes look so long and it doesn't clump them obviously if i was to sit there and try and put like five layers on like it would go clumpy but because it's so good i actually don't need to um i just really like it the brush is like quite big compared to the size of the actual um like tube but yeah i just really, really like this brush i feel like it's just easy to apply um I don't know, I don't really know how much to say about a mascara, but I just really, really like this one. I'm not 100% sure if it is um, waterproof. I'm guessing it isn't, but I haven't had any issues with it. Um, and I just hate it when mascaras like go like under your eyelashes, and this one doesn't do that. And I just really, really like it. Um, so any sort of mascara by Benefit is always pretty good anyway. Like I also like the Bare Real one, which comes in like the pink and the black packaging um but yeah i'm just really liking those makeup products at the moment and that is sort of it at the moment that i've like discovered obviously i have so many products that i love but i've already mentioned them in like favorites videos before so check out my other favorites videos as well because then you'll know like some more makeup products that i'm loving but these are like my newly discovered ones Okay, we're going to go on to skincare now. I don't have a lot, um, but I do have this little duo set, which I did get from TK Maxx, I'm not going to lie. So I don't actually know where I can buy this or where you guys can buy this. Um, I'm going to be on the hunt so that I can put the link down below for you guys and also repurchase it because they are running out. But it is this duo of eye cream. So... I think I have mentioned this to you guys before, maybe in a favourites video. I might be forgetting, but I'm going to do it again anyway. Um, but we have this one, which is like an intense eye serum. So I normally put this one on in the morning. So it has hyaluronic acid, vitamin C and caffeine in it. Um, and it says soothes dark circles, puffiness and soothes the appearance of fine lines and hydrates the eye area. So yeah, this one is for the AM. It tells you on the front, um, which I just find really, really helpful. Um, these I think were made in Korea so I that is the only thing I'm not 100% sure again like on the brand of these they're hashtag OOTD um, and I don't know like cruelty freeness or anything which I know isn't great and I definitely try to buy cruelty free but um, these were just on in the sale and I, I don't know I was just like I'm gonna buy them anyway because I feel like I need them and I honestly really feel like they are helping. Um, I have like quite dark circles under my eyes which they're not really going to help with that but they definitely help with like puffiness and I almost feel like my eyes looking a lot less like wrinkly. Um, <laughs> I just feel like they look a lot smoother. Uh, and then I have this one which is for the PM which I wear 
overnight so it's called the overnight eye cream an overnight intense nourishing eye cream firms moisturizes and soothes the appearance of fine lines so then this got peptide vitamin c and collagen in it and just as a little duo i'm just really loving them like i said i feel like my under eyes are noticeably different they're just a little bit they just look a bit firmer and they just the little wrinkle lines they just look better um maybe it's placebo i'm not sure but i do think these are really really good i probably should look into the brand a little bit more though before i start to repurchase but um yeah i do like them a lot and yeah i will link it down below for you guys and maybe i'll just try and find some more information about on these but i really do like those and then the next thing i have is just this little lip scrub but what i like about it is like this like pen so you just pop this bit on your lips and it just like is a lip scrub basically and i like the fact that you don't have to like dip your finger in and get like sugary stuff all over your fingers i like the fact that it's just in a little pen you just pop it on rub your lips together and it gets all your little dead skin off um it's wonder kiss essential lip scrub and there's not much i can say about it but it does just really help i used it this morning before i put my lip stuff on and i just i had so much dry skin and now they're all clear and they look so much nicer and it's just really like pigmented scrub but at first i was like i don't really get how it's gonna work but then as i started to use it i was like wow so this is really really good if you're into like lip scrubs and stuff i just like this one because again it's just in this format i could just pop it in my bag do it really really good and then I do have some razors, which I just want to recommend. And I know that sounds really stupid, but I just, I just feel like razors are like not talked about enough. It's hard to find a good razor. So obviously I'm a dark haired girl. I have really dark body hair. Um, and I always like to find razors, which are good. So these are the razors that I got at Christmas as a present. Um, and I've actually really, really loved them. So they're just Venus, Gillette like Venus, extra smooth, sensitive blades. Um, I've got three in this packet. I've been using one. I'm just about to update it to this one. But I just really like the fact that the head is like quite a big like head. And then it just, when I shave, I just feel like it covers a lot of area. It's really, really smooth. That's what it says, extra smooth. And I honestly really feel like it does that. Um, I like the fact it's got this little like grippy bit here. You can like put your hand and like grip. I don't know. It's a really like weird thing to recommend to you guys, but I've just, I'm just really enjoying using these razors. And I'm the sort of person that normally just gets razors that are cheap. Like I'll just buy like the Bic razors or whatever. And the amount of cuts that I used to get, I used to cut myself all the time. Whereas with this one, I just feel like I get the best, like smoothest shave without cutting myself and i just feel like it covers a lot of areas like i really like the color of it um yeah i don't know this is probably a really silly recommendation but if you are after some good razors that you can just buy from like boots or something and you've not got to like faff around with a subscription or whatever because i know i've never used them but i know a lot of people use the um Oh, I can't remember what they're called now, but the razors. I feel like a lot of like influencers do um, recommend them. And like I said, I haven't ever used them. But if you are, if you don't want to like get into that sort of thing, then I don't know, you're just popping into boots. Like if you do see these, then I definitely recommend picking them up. Um, I haven't bought them myself. Like I said, these are a present, so I'm not sure how expensive they are, but I'm pretty sure they probably were not too expensive anyway. But um, it's always good to try and find like, good razors or you know good like shaving cream as well because the amount of times that we have to like shave you want it to feel nice on your skin and like it to be like really nourishing you don't want to get loads of cuts and like scratches and stuff so yeah i know that's like a really boring <laughs> favorite and i haven't got that many favorites but that was one that i just thought i'd mention to you guys this month um, and then now I'm going to quickly move on to hair care. I have two things. So if you follow me on TikTok, you would have seen that I bought this the other day from B&M. And this is an L hair styler. So it's basically like the dry bar um, brush. So it's like a hair dryer. 
and it's got this big brush on it and as you're like drying your hair you can use this it's basically like a blow dryer you can blow dry your hair using this but without having to like use a hair dryer and hold a brush at the same time it's just all in one and i just i'm finding it so much easier like i like to flick my little hair under um and i found it really hard to do that with holding a hairdryer and trying to like brush it as well like especially on this side whereas like with this i just find it so easy um what i normally tend to do is like let my hair dry a little bit on its own first and then i might grab like my normal hair dryer just to dry my roots my dogs are fucking Apologies if you can hear my dogs barking, but I can't really control it. Um, but yeah, what I sometimes do is I will dry my roots first a little bit with like my normal hair dryer, and then from about here onwards, like I will use this to like dry it and like then like bring it under. You can also like curl your hair with it as well. Um, I haven't actually done that yet. I'm not that experienced using my little L. Um, concoction that we have here but I am really loving it so far and it literally cost me $17.99 from B&M so run don't walk go grab yourself one because it's really really handy even if you like to straighten your hair with it you could straight just straighten it straight down I just feel like it's easier as well like because then you've not got to like dry your hair with a hair dryer then straighten it afterwards like you can just use this and it's just like one styling tool like especially if you're traveling somewhere like it's just easy to take this and you can sort of do all hairstyles with it um but like i said i haven't been like that brave with it yet i've not done too much i've literally just like dried it and flicked it under so maybe i will do a video on this or i might do a tiktok on it so follow me over on my tiktok if you haven't already i'm not like a massive poster over there i don't post loads but i do post occasionally so if you are after like just little things like this then sometimes i will post on there about this kind of thing so um yeah i will maybe do a tiktok on this where i do like all three so i'll just straighten it tuck it under um curl it and that's it and just straighten it straight down i don't know we'll see but anyway i just feel like it's a really good thing to get um and if you're thinking of getting like the more expensive tool like i was i wanted like the dry bar one but it was like 150 pound i think or something so to get this for 17 well 18 pound it's an absolute bargain and i love the color because it matches my room as well <laughs> um anything pink you know i'm here for it um and then lastly for hair i have this dry shampoo so i bought this um actually i think i was bought this for christmas and this is just a batiste dry shampoo I, batiste is the only dry shampoo that i do ever use um but this one is like a naturally one i'm not really sure like i think it's all just it's 100 percent natural extracts but i just am loving it so this for some reason just makes my hair so much better than if i just use the normal dry shampoo and it doesn't come out like too gray or white you know like when you spray a normal dry shampoo you get loads of like white stuff this one doesn't really do that as much oh my god yeah this one doesn't really leave too much like residue in your hair and i find it really easy to just rub it in and i don't know for some reason i'm just really enjoying using this um it says that it's plant powered instant hair refresh invisible finish like i said coconut milk and hemp seed oil helps calm flyaways and it's for frizzy hair um and yeah i just i really really like this so this is the one that i will be buying going forward rather than the original like batiste ones um but the only thing i will say is that i do find it quite hard to spray it <laughs> just smells really nice as well it just smells really like fresh it's not trying to be like this major like berry scent or anything like that which i do still like but this one just smells really fresh um yeah i don't i'm really enjoying it i don't know how much i can sit and rave for a dry shampoo but for me the main thing is just that it doesn't leave the residue in my hair and that's something that like i just hate especially when because i've got dark hair like it really does show up so if i can try and avoid that then 
I will try. Uh, and then last but not least, I have another favourite, but this is a steamer. So again, I got this for Christmas, which is a lot of the stuff here today I did get for Christmas because then it's just like, that's how I've sort of, it's become a fave of mine. Um, so it's a steamer and I've wanted a steamer for a while because basically the stuff in my wardrobe is quite squashed together. When I pull it out, it's quite creased and it annoys me and then I can't bother to like whip out the ironing board and then get the iron out. So a steamer is just so much easier and quicker. And again, you can travel with it. And I know I have mentioned that a lot in this video about traveling, but I do just feel like when you go on holiday, like it is so annoying when you've got to pack like loads of big makeup products or you've got to like, you know, you can't really bring your ironing board like so now I've just got a little steamer that I can just pack in my suitcase take it along with me and then I haven't got to worry about what I bring because sometimes I just purposely won't bring something because I know it'll be so creased like a satin dress like it's gonna get so creased if there's not an iron there then I can't wear it so now I have this little baby steamer which I can use to yeah just make all my outfits look on point you know um and help me style everything nicely and i can pack what i want to pack because now i know i can steam it and it's just so easy like it warms up really really quickly um you just fill up this little bit here with water um i normally i use bottled water because sometimes if it's like ironized or like chalky it can like clog it up with like lime scale so i try to use like bottled water um and yeah it's just really easy to use it warms up really quick you just literally hold your garment and then do that sometimes you can like lay it down on a flat surface and do it but either way and then it has this little brush head which comes on and off um and then it comes with like some little gloves as well if you want to protect your hands from burning which i actually don't do because when i worked at h&m i used to use like um, a steamer and that used to get so hot so i feel like i've got like my hands are sort of like used to the heat. <laughs> I don't feel it as much. Um, but yeah, I just really recommend getting a steamer because it's just so much easier. Like when you pull something out your wardrobe and it's like crease and you really want to wear it, you could just quickly go and it's done. Um, my one is from this brand, One Pop. I think it's on Amazon. Um, it had good reviews, my mum said, because my mum bought it for me. And yeah, I just really like it. Um, I wish it was maybe just like plain black because it doesn't really go with my room but to be honest I don't have it like out on show so it's not a big deal but um yeah I really do recommend getting a steamer if this is the kind of thing that you struggle with like having too much in your wardrobe and then getting it out and not being able to wear it because it's too creased and just being a lazy bitch and can't be bothered to go and iron it because that is me um so yeah that is actually my last favorite for January slash Feb so it is my birthday this week so I'm sure I'll be getting a few bits like some new bits that I can maybe recommend to you guys if I like anything a lot and feel like you'll like it as well but um yeah I do always just like to do these little favorites videos to help you guys out I know I haven't got loads in there but it's just honest stuff that I've actually really enjoyed like I'm not going to just add stuff in for the sake of it but this is just all stuff that I've really loved using and can't imagine my life without my little steamer now <laughs> um so yeah i really do hope that you did enjoy this video if you do like favorites videos then give this one a thumbs up just so i know and i can continue to do them um i am going to be really i'm going to try and be really good at uploading recently i know i have been slacking and it's so annoying because i love uploading videos onto youtube it's just that i don't have the time to film sometimes and then what happens is I will film a video and I'll be annoyed because the lighting's really bad and it looks horrible. Um, but I do have this week off. Today is Monday. I have this week off. So I'm really going to try to like just get loads of videos filmed so that I have them all like in the in the log, like ready to just whip them out um, twice a week. That is my aim. But anyway, I'm going to stop rambling now because you guys are probably not even watching till now. And if you are, then thank you so much. I really do appreciate the support that I get, like I just really love the people that watch my vids and I feel like it's all very nice, all very nice stuff and like I always say, if you do have any recommendations for me then please do let me know down below, um, follow me on Instagram, follow me on TikTok, subscribe and I will see you in my next video guys, bye!